Candomblé Portuguese pronunciation, K -dom -biel, dance in honor of the gods, is an Afro-Brazilian religious tradition, practiced mainly in Brazil by the povo de santo, people of saint. Candomblé originated in Salvador, Bahia at the beginning of the 19th century, when the first temple was founded. Candomblé is practiced primarily in Brazil, and is also practiced in other Latin American countries, including Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Venezuela. Having as many as two million followers, Candomblé developed in a creolization of traditional Yoruba, Fon, and Bantu beliefs brought from West and Central Africa by enslaved captives in the Portuguese Empire. Between 1549 and 1888, the religion developed in Brazil, influenced by the knowledge of enslaved African priests who continued to teach their mythology, their culture, and language. In addition, Candomblé absorbed elements of Roman Catholicism and includes indigenous American traditions. As an oral tradition, it does not have holy scriptures. Practitioners of Candomblé believe in a supreme creator called Oludamare, who is served by lesser deities, which are called Orishas. Every practitioner is believed to have their own tutelary Orisha, which controls his or her destiny and acts as a protector. Music and dance are important parts of Candomblé ceremonies, since the dances enable worshippers to become possessed by the Orishas. In the rituals, participants make offerings like minerals, vegetables, and animals. Candomblé does not include the duality of good and evil, each person is required to fulfill their destiny to the fullest, regardless of what that is. <laughs> Topic. Terminology Candomblé is an oral tradition and does not have holy texts. Only recently have scholars in Povo de Santo begun to write down its practices. The word candomblé means dance in honor of the gods, and music and dance are important parts of candomblé ceremonies. The name Batuque is also used to refer to the religion, especially before the 19th century. After that, candomblé became more common. Both words are believed to be derived from a Bantu family language, mainly that of the Kingdom of Congo. Candomblé may also be called Macumba in some regions of Brazil, notably Rio de Janeiro and São Paulo. Macumba has a distinct set of practices more akin to European witchcraft. History Candomblé originated among enslaved Africans who were transplanted to Brazil during the slave trade. From the earliest days of the slave trade, many slave owners and Catholic church leaders felt it was important to convert enslaved Africans. They believed this would fulfill their religious obligations and lead the enslaved to be more submissive in their status. Some historians suggest that Africans were forced to give up their traditional religions to cut their ties to their pasts. Although the church succeeded in many cases, not all slaves converted. Many outwardly practiced Christianity but secretly prayed to their own god, gods, or ancestor spirits. In Brazil, adherents of Candomblé saw in the Catholic veneration of saints a similarity with their own religion. Bantu followers found a shared system of worship with Brazil's indigenous people, and through this connection they re-learned the ancestor worship that was part of their own traditional systems. They often concealed the sacred symbols of their deities inside figures of their Catholic saints. In segregated communities of the country, it was easy to create Catholic fraternities where slaves would meet with each other. These meetings, however, were an opportunity for candomblé worship to be practiced and for feasts to be held on special religious days. They were also opportunities for the enslaved to gather and plan rebellions against their masters. Candomblé was condemned by the Catholic Church. Followers of the faith were persecuted violently, including by government-led public campaigns and police action. 
Repression of African religion began early in the Portuguese colonial period, with Calundu spiritual leaders subject to the Inquisition. The Brazilian Penal Code of 1850 condemned charlatanismo curanderismo quackery. Both Candomblé religious leaders and toreros were attacked by the police. With Catholicism as the state religion, other religious practices threatened the secular authority. The persecution stopped in the 1970s with repeal of a law requiring police permission to hold public religious ceremonies. The religion has surged in popularity in Brazil since then, with as many as two million people professing to follow this faith. It is particularly popular in Salvador, Bahia, in the northeast region of Brazil, which is more isolated from other influences and had a high percentage of enslaved Africans. Many people from African countries visit Bahia in order to learn more about the faith of their ancestors. For many followers, Candomblé is not only a matter of religious belief but also of reclaiming the cultural and historical identity of ethnic Africans, although their separate tribal identities have been obscured by peoples being mixed in communities during and after slavery. <laughs> Candomblé nations Brazilian slaves came from a number of African geographic regions and ethnic groups, including Mbundu, Yoruba, Igbo, Congo, Fon and Yu. Slave handlers classified them by the shore of embarkment, so records of ethnicity may not have been accurate, as captives were often transported overland away from native areas before being loaded on ships. As the religion developed semi-independently in different regions of Brazil, among different African ethnic groups, it evolved into several branches or nations Nacos. These are distinguished chiefly by their set of worshipped deities, as well as the music and language used in the rituals. The division into nations was also influenced by the religious and beneficent brotherhoods Irmandades organized by the Catholic Church among Brazilian slaves in the 18th and 19th centuries. These fraternities, organized along ethnic lines to allow priests to preach who had learned the slaves' native languages, provided a legitimate cover for slave reunions. Ultimately they may have aided the development of candomblé. The following list is a rough classification of the major nations and sub-nations, and their sacred languages. Quito or Cueto, Yoruba language, known as Yoruba or Nago in Portuguese. Nago derives from Anago, a derogatory term used by the Dahomey people to refer to Yoruba-speaking people, specifically of Oyo heritage, many of whom were sold as slaves to Brazil, Efa and Ijexa in Bahia. Nago or Eba in Pernambuco Oyo Ijexa or Batuc de Nassau in Rio Grande do Sul Mina Nago or Tambor de Mina in Maranhão Sumba in Alagoas and Pernambuco nearly extinct. Bantu, mix of Bantu Kikongo and Kumbundu languages Kaboko, half indigenous American and European Gigi, Fon, and Gen languages Gigi. Mina Gigi in Maranhão Barbecue in Para Fun Fun in Panama Topic. Beliefs Topic. Deities Candomblé is a polytheistic religion and worships a number of gods. The Orishas of the Yoruba Kitu Nation, spelled Oryxes in Portuguese. The Vodans of the Fon and Yu Gigi Nation, and the Nkisis of the Congo Bantu Nation. These deities are believed to have been created by a supreme god, Alodomare, called Zambi by the Congo people, and Nana Buluku by the Fon people. The Orishas and similar figures form a link between the spiritual world and the world of humans. Candomblé practitioners believe that every person has their own tutelary deity which controls his or her destiny and acts as a protector. 
Each deity represents a certain force in nature and is associated with certain foods, colors, animals, and days of the week. A person's character or personality is strongly linked to their deity. Collectively, ancestors are called Egum in Brazil. During important ceremonies, priests and priestesses masquerade as Baba Egum and specially choreographed dances will be performed in order to become possessed of each ancestor spirit. Deities from one nation may be acculturated as guests in houses and ceremonies of another nation, besides those of the latter. Some nations assign new names to guest spirits, while some retain the names used in the nation of origin. Topic. Concepts of good or bad Candomblé does not include the duality of a concept of good opposed to evil. Each person is required only to fulfill his or her destiny to the fullest in order to live a good life, regardless of what that destiny is. This is not a free ticket to do whatever the practitioner wants, though. Candomblé teaches that any evil a person causes to others will return to the first person eventually e.g. um are important in regulating the moral code of Candomblé practitioners. It is their responsibility to make sure that moral standards of the past are continued in the present. This is regulated during worship ceremonies. When a person becomes possessed of their ancestor spirit during the ceremony, they may act out scenes from the community to highlight both good and bad actions in a sort of public tribunal. Topic: Syncretism. Candomble includes an Islamic linked sect which was more common during the era of slavery in Brazil. Many slaves from West Africa had been acculturated with Muslim traditions. These males set aside Fridays as the day to worship deities, as do the Muslims for prayer and meditation. Males were the instigators of many slave revolts in Brazil. They led such actions dressed in all white with amulets and skull caps, as in traditional Islam. Topic. Rituals The candomblé ritual has two parts, the first is the preparation, attended only by priests and initiates, which may start a week in advance of a major ceremony. Second is the main event, a festive public mass and banquet that starts in the late evening and ends around midnight. In the first part, initiates and aides wash and iron the costumes for the ceremony, and decorate the house with paper flags and festoons, in the colors favored by the oryxes that are to be honored on that occasion. They also prepare food for the banquet. Some domestic animals are slaughtered, some parts reserved for sacrifice, the rest is prepared for the banquet. On the day of the ceremony, starting in the early morning, cowrie shell divinations Jago de Buzios, are performed, and sacrifices are offered to the desired oryxes, and to the messenger spirit Exu in, Kitu. in the public part of the ceremony, Saint Children invoke an incorporate oryxes, falling into a trance-like state. After falling into trance the trance is entered by women in the group, the priest spirits perform dances symbolic of the oryx's attributes, while the babalorixa or father of saint leading male priest leads songs that celebrate the spirit's deeds. The ceremony ends with a banquet. Candomblé music, an essential part of the ritual, derives from African music. The word batuk, for instance, has entered the Brazilian vernacular as a synonym of Rhythmic percussion music. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Temples and priesthood. Candomblé temples are called houses, casas, plantations, rocas, or yards, terreiros. Most candomblé houses are small, independently owned and managed by the respective higher priests female May de Santo or male Pai de Santo. A few of the older and larger houses have a more institutional character and more formal hierarchy. 
there is no central administration. Inside the place of worship are the altars to the oryxes or pegis. Candomblé priesthood is organized into symbolic families, whose members are not necessarily relatives in the common sense. Each family owns and manages one house. In most candomblé houses, especially the larger ones, the head of the family is always a woman, the May de Santo or Ayalarixa, mother of saint, seconded by the Pai de Santo or Babalarixa, father of saint. The priests and priestesses may also be known as babalaus, interpreters of buzios, babas, and babaloxes. Some houses have a more flexible hierarchy which allows the male Pai de Santo to be the head priest. Often during the slave period, the women became the diviners and healers, the male slaves were constantly working and did not have the time to take care of daily practices. Or, when caring for children, the women had the chance to teach the knowledge of their traditions to the newer generations. Admission to the priesthood and progression in the hierarchy is conditioned to approval by the oryxes, possession of the necessary qualities, learning sacred knowledge, and taking part in the lengthy initiation rites, which last seven years or more. There are generally two types of priesthood in the various nations of Candomblé, they are divided into those who fall in a trance by the Orisha Ayawo, and those who do not Oga, male, Akeji, female. It is important not to confuse the meaning and usage of the Yoruba term Ayawo bride in Yoruba with other African-derived religions, which use this same term with different meanings. The seclusion period for the initiation of an Ayawo lasts generally 21 days in the Kitu nation, and varies depending on the nation. The Ayava's role in the religion is assigned by a divination made by her, his Ayalariksa, Babalariksa. An Ayawo may be assigned to care for neophytes in their initiation seclusion period, become an expert in all the Orisha foods, become an Iya or Babalariksa, or learn all ritual songs, etc. The Iowas follow a seven-year period of apprenticeship within which they offer periodical sacrifices in order to reinforce their initiation links, in the form of the so-called obligations of one, three and seven years. At the seventh year, the Iowas earn their title and may obtain an honorific title or religious post Oye in Yoruba. Once the Ayawo has accomplished their seventh year cycle obligation, they become elders Egbomi in Brazil, which means my elder within their religious family. Topic. Priesthood initiation In Brazil, Ifa, Igungan, Orisha, Vodun, and Inkisi, are separated by type of priesthood initiation. Ifa only initiation babalaus, do not come into trance. Igungan only initiation babaoyes, do not come into trance. Candomblé Kitu initiation Iowas, come into trance with Orisha. Candomblé Gigi initiation Vodunsis, come into trance with Vodun. Candomblé Bantu initiation Muzinses, come into trance with Inkisi. Topic. Priesthood The Candomblé priesthood is divided into Ayalariksa or May de Santo, female, and Babalariksa or Pai de Santo, male, Oryx's priests, Date or Dane Vodun's priests, Tateto or Mameto, Inkisi's priests, Babalao, Yoruba Ifa priests, Bokanan, Vodun Afa priests. Babalasanyan, Osanyan's priests, Babaoye Igungan's priests. Topic: Notable priestesses. Many of the most influential priestesses of the faith claim descent from Yoruba royalty. The following are some examples. May Menanina du Gantwa 1894-1986, Ayalariksa of the Il Iya Omia Sayamase, House of the Mother of Waters, of Gantwa, who was instrumental in gaining legalization of the religion. 
Mother Olga de Alaketu, C. Ayalariksa of the Il Maroyalaji, House of Alaji, son of the Arrow clan, of Salvador de Bahia, who served during her life as one of Brazil's most prominent religious leaders. May Cleusa Millet (1923–1998), another Ayalariksa of the Il Ia Oma Sayamase of Gantwa. Topic. See also. Candomblé GJ. Candomblé Kitu. Candomblé Bantu. Topic Notes Carrot orishas are also called vodans or incases. <laughs>